In this video, we're going to be going over SQL injection. We've got a script that you can download from our website. The link will be in the description. And this will get the labs ready for, for us to test the SQL. So if we go over to our virtual machines, the only ones we need open are the domain controller, the pfSense router, and the Ubuntu server for the moment. So if we look into the Ubuntu server, We then need to wget the file. So in this case, it'll be wget https demsec.co.uk forward slash download gtp sqli dot zip. So now that's downloaded, all we need to do is unzip the file. So if we do unzip SQL and then that is unzipped. So we need to do sudo bash install dot sh. And we need to enter the password password. And that's done. As you can see here, it says operation create user failed for challenge one at localhost. So what we need to do is we need to go over to the domain controller. And we need to sign into it. So all we need to do now is go over to the IP address of the Ubuntu server, which ifconfig will reveal. So it's uh, one, two, one, six, eight, two. And then we need to go to PHP My Admin. So we need to log in as root and the password as password. So in this left hand side, we can see the in the panel, we can see challenge one. And then what we need to do is click that and go to privileges and then you should see this challenge one here if we press edit privileges we just need to press go right now we've done that we can head over to the login form all we need to do is the same ip with a slash one and we can test to make sure this works normally by using a tick just like that and pressing login we should normally get an SQL error, however in this case we don't. So Apache has it, so you can't use this as an example, uh, as it allows attackers to see if there is an error in the code. What we can do to test this is we can do a tick or one equals one and then a hashtag. And then press enter. It says yeah you did it. So we've completely bypassed it. But what if we thought there was something else there? Or what, we, what can we do to test this? So if we go over and start Kali. So what we can do is use a tool called SQL map. So if we do SQL map. So what we want to do is use SQL map to target our web page. So what we can do here is just do SQL map 
dash u the target IP so it's 192.168.2.103 forward slash one forward slash and then index dot php and then we can do dash dash forms along with dash dash level five dash dash risk three and then dash dash dump and press enter and then we're just going to hit enter whenever it asks us for something so here we're just going to press zero and we're going to press yes so there we go it has a, another kind of flag so it says nice you found me too so that wasn't the original message that we got it was yeah you found me um, and the admin username and password so this was just a basic overview of what we can do to inject SQL code into a form it won't always work especially if things have been done properly on the website so SQL map is a good tool to use however we might sometimes need to do things manually we're not going to go over that in this video however we do know the basics now and we can use SQL map and we do know how to search for vulnerabilities in a website to see if they are vulnerable to SQL injection